the architects, the architects of, our of our republic wrote the magnificent the words of the Constitution of and the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence. It was a promise no that all men, promise that all men guaranteed would be guaranteed the unalienable rights of life's and liberty the and the pursuit of happiness. Now is the time to rise from the dark and desolate valley of segregation to the sunlit path of segregation to the sunlit path of racial justice. Now, now is the time. Now is the time, the time to lift our nation from the quicksands of racial injustice to the solid rock of brotherhood. To the solid rock of brotherhood. Now is the time. Nineteen sixty three is not an end, but a beginning. The whirlwinds of revolt will continue to shake the foundations of our nation until the bright day of justice emerges. Until the bright day of justice emerges. We cannot walk alone. We cannot turn back. And as we walk, we must make the pledge that we shall always march ahead. Let us not wallow in the valley of despair. So even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American. I have a dream that one day this nation Rise up. Live out the meaning of this creed. We hold these truths to be self evident that all men are created. I have a dream. I have a dream that one day the state of Alabama will be transformed into a situation where little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands. With little white boys and white girls and walk together as sisters and brothers. This is our hope. This is the faith. This is the faith that I go back to the south with. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. So let freedom reign. From the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire, let freedom ring. From the mighty mountains of New York, let freedom ring. From the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania, let freedom ring. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped rocks of Colorado. Let freedom ring. Let freedom ring from the gracious peaks of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from the stone mountains of Georgia. Let freedom ring. Let freedom ring. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain, Tennessee. Let freedom ring. Let freedom ring. And Moon Hill of Mississippi from every mountainside. When we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day. When all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last.